Hi there, I'm Chris Thayer. I teach Digitech 1, 2, and 3 for the Arroyo Valley High School Digital Media Arts Academy. And if you're watching this video, that means that one or more of your kids is in my class, or you've gone down a very bizarre path in YouTube. We like to joke in DMA that we're the Batman of the school because we have all the amazing toys. And we do. Every day, our students get to use industry-leading technology. But more than that, our goal is to prepare them for a career in the digital media arts or in just about any field. Because the skills you learn in DMA can translate to just about any profession you can think of. In addition to that, we offer internships and micro internships at various businesses that are digital media arts related. And we try to provide entrepreneurial experiences such as our VapaFest or when our students actually go to a comic convention and have their own booth and sell their creations there. Now what that means is when your student leaves Arroyo Valley High School, they're going to take with them a set of certifications that basically say I'm proficient in all of these industry standard programs. When they go for a job interview or if they're applying to a school or a college, that already is going to give them a step above all of the other applicants. Uh, the other thing that makes us different is everything we do is product or project based. So we create things like, I don't know, magazines. We do the school arts and literature magazine. Uh, students create their own comic books. They create their own children's books. They make stickers. They make buttons. Everything is product based. So when they create something, they actually are able to take the physical object with them. And DMA does something that other schools and other academies at this school don't do. We offer students a choice of what they want to study. So we have three separate strands for students to choose from. We have graphic design and illustration, we have film and broadcasting, and we have photography. So Digitech One is meant to be a look at all three strands. So we spend a quarter doing each of the different strands and the kinds of projects and assignments that they'll do when they go into junior and senior year. That way at the end of sophomore year they can make an educated decision about what focus or strand they want to continue in. So let's talk about Digitech 2. Your student chose graphic design and illustration for their strand, which means they're going to spend this year and next year working in graphic design and illustration. They're going to be creating lots of amazing things. This year specifically they're going to work on a children's book, which they will have the opportunity if we have conventions still. Uh, at the Ontario Comic-Con Revolution Convention where they can sell their own works, uh, including their books, but not only. We'll have t-shirts that are student designed and created. We'll have buttons, we'll have stickers, uh, artwork. Uh, it's one of the highlights of our year and uh, hopefully your student finishes their book in time to have it uh, available at the Ontario Convention. And if not, they'll have next year. The other thing that you'll do in Digitech 2 is uh, we work on certification in Adobe Illustrator. It's a little bit more tricky of a program, but that's okay. We should have no problem getting everybody certified in Adobe Illustrator. And that'll be happening uh, first and second quarter. Now you might be wondering, do you take late work? I do take late work because I maintain that I would rather have a student's best effort, their best work, a day late than something that is thrown together and on time. Deadlines are super important, but in Digitech, it is much more important that they give me their best effort and their best work because everything they create goes toward their portfolio. And that way when they leave, they have all of their best works in one place, whether it be a physical portfolio or on a website, where they can show that off to a potential boss or a, an employer or to a potential school where they might want to go. So I know this is a lot of information all at once, but if you have questions, you can always reach out to me. My email is right here and I get emails on my phone all day long 
if I'm able to, I try to respond within an hour or so. Uh, if I'm unable to get right back to you, I always try to get back within 24 hours. And even if you just have ideas or questions or concerns, please reach out because I won't know something's going on unless you or your student tells me. So anyway, that's about all I have for tonight. Thank you for popping in to my back to school night video. Uh, again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I'm sure your kids are just as excited as we are to be back here face to face somewhat. And uh, I, you're just gonna be blown away by the amazing things that your student is gonna create in the Digital Media Arts Academy.